Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Today I want to be talking about a new motor system that I've got in stock. I'm really excited about it. I've been talking about it for close to a year now. I finally got it mostly installed on my old 1981 Honda CT110. This is a 3000 watt mid-drive motor for motorcycles. This features an integrated four-speed transmission. You can see it uses regular motor oil and it's got a new it's got a clutch which this bike did not have a clutch so i had to add a universal one into it i want to do a quick overview of this motor and i want to show you some uh some videos of me riding around on it just a, a little bit this is just a, a brief little teaser video so this is a 3000 watt motor it runs on 72 volts um, this is the controller here it's pretty basic this is just roughly mocked up before you guys make fun of me for my installation hack job I just wanted to get this thing put up so I could do some performance tests on it just to see how it goes. This is the throttle adapter. So it uses the standard throttle adapter, but it turns it into a digital signal, goes into the, into the controller. And this was a very easy install, by the way. This motor mounts pretty easily into these old CT frames. So if you have an old CT90 or CT110, I had to cut a little bit of the frame off here, but then it, it bolted right in here. And these motors got a lot of mounting points to them. Right here, right here, right here. There's some underneath. There's like, I think there's four bolt holes underneath. It's pretty universal. I think it's gonna be a good solution for a lot of people on a lot of bikes. Now this, because it is only 3000 watts, this is a fairly small motor. You can kind of see the size of it. I think it ends right about here. This is gonna be about, a 200 cc or less replacement i would say anything more than that i think this is going to overwhelm this motor now this motor does have tons of torque to it uh, especially in first gear it's very torquey i made the mistake of trying to see how much acceleration this thing had how much torque it had and in first gear i went like this and the front end came up pretty easily. So it surprised me. And this is after I'd been riding it around for a good half hour. I was kind of used to the power delivery at that point, but it still surprised me and it came right up. I was not trying to make it do that. Um, I am not aware of what the um, gear ratios are in between each gear. I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. I'll try to get some documentation and put it up on the project uh, product listing. Uh, and if you are curious about this, I'm going to put the link to this product in the description of this video. So if you want to take a look at it and it's crazy, this is about a $600 motor, which is less than some e-bike motors, less than some 750 watt e-bike motors. This is a 3000 watt motorcycle engine, essentially replacement for less than some e-bike motors. It's just crazy value. This is a crazy value oriented motor. This is a first of its kind with a four speed integrated transmission built into this. I, I do wish it was a little bit more powerful, a little bit beefier so that you could use these on like 600 CC motorcycles. You know, they doubled the size of this and made it 6,000 watt with that four speed transmission. Let's go, let's go show uh, some footage of me riding around on it a little bit. So you can see this thing tops out. I got it to go about 45 miles an hour, but I was, you know, I had about half of a block of running space. So I bet you if I had a open road, open two lane road with nobody around, I could probably hit this about 50, 55, which is about what this bike did with the stock 110 CC motor as it was. It was a four stroke, actually this one right here. And it, it actually is about the same physical size and about the same weight. So there's not a really a whole lot of weight savings, uh, maybe a little bit, but it's the same physical size. But yeah, so I, top speed is about 50. I bet you I could get to about 50. 
but we'll see. I didn't have a fully charged battery. I think I was running about 76 volts. So if I had it at 84 volts, which is full, you know, I'd probably get a couple, two tree miles per hour extra out of it. Uh, I'm not sure on where I'm gonna mount the battery. Right now I just have the, the shark battery up here, which I could do too, and then use a combiner. So I could just hot swap them. I mean, I could probably fit three or four up here actually, but then you lose the cargo space. So I don't know. I wanted to try to put a battery here, but, and maybe put the controller in the gas tank. I don't know. If you guys have some ideas, let me know. I'm all ears right now. But uh, so far, this thing has been a blast. I am wildly excited about the potential of this motor. Uh, it's living up to the hype so far. I've been, ex I've been licking my chops since I've had this for about four months, and I finally just, you know, had time to actually install it and ride it now. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to riding this thing around all summer and uh, putting some serious miles on it. So, all right, stay tuned. I'll, I'll be making more videos on this, I'm sure. And my other Honda uh, electric motorcycle build that I did. That one's a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit more top speed, different motor, but I'm probably gonna be upgrading that and accessorizing that more this summer too, making it even beefier. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. If you're into electric motorcycle conversions, take a look at the other videos I got and uh, see you around next time. Thanks.